Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. All right guys, so today we are doing another review of a brand new book box, and that is again the Down the Rabbit Hole book box. Um, I did an unboxing of their November box, which was for the novel White Oleander, and this is their limited edition box. It was released for the holidays, just showed up at my door this morning. Um, this is their special limited edition Shining box, I believe. It might be the It box, the Stephen King's It box, but I'm fairly certain it's the Shining box. I think the It box has a minor delay. Um, but I am so, so excited for this. Um, unlike their monthly box, this is going to have more items. It's about twice as much. I believe I got this for $109 um, and like change. Um, I'll have the full price down below. But Down the Rabbit Hole book box is a really interesting monthly subscription box. Every month you get a book and inside of that book are markers and as you're reading the book you get to a marker and it'll have a, like a number and you can open up a gift in a box curated to that number to reflect what is in the context of those pages before you. It's really really cool. I've never really seen anything like it before. Um, the White Oleander box, I wasn't fully able to review yet because I've never read White Oleander, so I don't really know how I feel about the items that were connected with it. Um, so I'm really interested to see how the Stephen King boxes go because I am very, very, very familiar with those novels. Um, the box is huge. It's enormous. It's like three times the size of their standard box. So uh, hopefully we have a lot of really, really fun items in there. Um, and yeah, I'm really, really excited to dive into this. So let's open her up and see what we have. Okay, y'all, so she is open. I think I'm just gonna pull all the items out and show you, and then we'll unbox them together. But every item will come in a little numbered box like this. It's very cute. I really enjoy the packaging on it. These are all very heavy so far. I have no idea what's in this box. Um, I haven't seen any spoilers for this. Um, I did watch a spoiler for the it box, um, just because I wanted to make sure this was going to be something that I was into. Oh, this is dope. Okay. So we have four um, boxes that came outside of the box, and then we have this, which is just down the rabbit hole book box. It looks like their standard box. It's a little cooler because it has red rum on the sides. Now we're going to open this up. Oh. Beautiful. It says, Wendy, darling, light of my life. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm just going to bash your brains in. Very, very, very cool. Love that. The packaging on this is superb. Okay, so then we have a little um, thing that tells us that this is the Shining-inspired holiday book box. And it says, this book box was designed to be enjoyed by both the Shining, Stephen King book, and movie fans. Ooh, I love that. I know that there's... A divide with some people between them, uh, but I like both quite a lot. Um, we get a little info piece on Stephen King and The Shining. We get our bookmark. Every month you are supposed to get a bookmark. This is very cute. And it says, all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy on a typewriter. We have a cute little butterfly marker right here. I'm not sure what the butterfly is for. Maybe it's just cute. Um, every month you do also get a QR code for a reading Spotify playlist. So I believe it is books, I believe it is like music to read the book along to. I haven't had a chance to use it with White Oleander yet. White Oleander, I'm, it's on, it's like the third book on my list to read. So I will get there soon and then do a final review of that box. But we do have that. If you haven't seen my White Oleander um, Down the Rabbit Hole book box unboxing, I will link it in the cards. I highly suggest checking that out because you'll get a more feel for what a traditional box is. Oh. So here is our version of The Shining. Oh, this is really pretty. So this is a $40 hardcover edition of The Shining. This is really, really stunning. And it says Stephen King right there. Ooh, I hope the It one matches. This is really pretty. So this is a double day version. I have like an old beat up paper version, paperback version. Um. I'm going to read the inside flap just in case there's somebody watching this who's never seen The Shining before or read the book. Um, so it says, The Overlook Hotel claimed the most beautiful physical setting of any resort in the world. But Jack Torrance, the new winter caretaker, his wife Wendy, and their five-year-old son Danny saw much more than its splendor. Jack saw the Overlook as an opportunity, a desperate way back from failure and despair. 
Wendy saw this lonely sanctuary as a frail chance to preserve their family. And Danny? Danny, who was blessed or cursed with a shining, precognitive gift, saw visions hideously beyond the comprehension of a small boy. He sensed the evil coiled within the Overlook's 110 empty rooms and an evil that was waiting just for them. The Shining is a classic work of horror fiction from Stephen King, the undisputed master of the genre. I adore The Shining. Um, I went and visited the Stanley Hotel um, back in 2021. Um, I have a whole video on that, but I'm a huge Stephen King fan. Went all the way to the mountains of Colorado just to go to the original um, Stanley Hotel. Um, so I'm super, super, super excited for this box. Okay, so it's looking like we're going to have 10 gifts in this box. I'm going to try and space everything out and read it accordingly. So let's, uh, I'm going to number these out really quickly. Okay, so, so we seem to have 10 gifts in here. And, uh, let's open the book up and read the pages and open these gifts. Okay, so gift one is right on the first page. These are a little bookmark to figure out where we are. It's so the job interview. So let's open gift number one. Oh! Oh my god, I love these, I love these, I love these. Okay, so we get three magnets with Stephen King quotes. So the first one is some things it don't pay to be curious about, which is Stephen King from Pet Cemetery. We get, um, it's always wise to check your maybes, which is from Misery. And then we get the super famous Stephen King quote, monsters are real and ghosts are real too. They live inside us and sometimes they win. Oh, this is great. I love that. I, when I first moved in with my fiance, he had like no fridge magnets and I have just dedicated the last like two and a half years to just covering our fridge in magnets. So that's awesome. There's so many Mothman and horror magnets on our fridge. It's kind of weird. So is there anything on the page that coordinates with that? Not really. I feel like it's just like the beginning of the book kind of thing. So that's totally cool. So let's find bit number two. Okay, so gift number two is on page 33. Gift number two feels heavy. Okay, so um, gift number two is the Monsters Inside Bath Bomb. Oh, look at how cute that is. Oh my god, it smells so good. The scent is Succulent Breeze. Let's see, what does a skull or a bath have to do with this? Um, so I'm assuming this has to do with the skull because this is where Tony is first repeating red rum over and over and over again to Danny. So let's go with that. I'm not quite sure what else it could be. So we will go with that and let's see what gift three is. Okay, gift three, we are now on page 64. Gift three is this little letter. Oh my God, amazing. Oh my God, okay. So this is, uh, come stay with us at the Overlook Hotel, 40 miles west of Sidewinder, Colorado. It is a full postcard. Um, okay, so what makes this awesome is this is the Stanley. So the Stanley Hotel, which is the actual Overlook Hotel that um, Stephen King stayed at and based the whole story at, and not the hotel used in the movie. I think this is awesome. When Stephen King did his own film adaptation of The Shining, they filmed it at the actual Stanley Hotel. This is amazing. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to get that framed. That's so cool. Yes, so it says, um, Ullman was waiting for them just inside the wide old fashioned front doors. He shook hands with Jack and nodded coolly at Wendy, perhaps noticing the way heads turned when she came through into the lobby, her golden hair spilling across the shoulders of her simple navy dress. So this is when they first um, enter the Overlook. Oh, so cool. Okay, so gift four is on page 117. So we get this little packet right here. <gasps> is it a perfume? Oh my God. I literally was trying to look at new scented roller balls last night. This is hilarious. Okay, so this is uh, the scent <laughs> into the descent of madness, which is elderberry and strawberries. Ooh. It smells just like strawberries. Very nice. Ooh, I'm so happy with that. I really needed a new perfume. So I'm gonna put this on. Mmm, it smells so good. Okay, so let's see what this has to do with. Okay, so this, um, so this has nothing to do with perfume. This is the scene in the book, um, 
where Jack slowly starts to go um, to get unhinged. So it's, it is his descent into madness at the very, very beginning when he, um, I don't want to like ruin the book if you haven't read it because this isn't in the film, but there's an incident that gets him pretty much like fired from his teaching job and it is the beginning of his descent into madness. So that is where gift number four is. Let's look at gift number five on page 172. <gasps> oh. Okay, so we get the Overlook Hotel, P.O. Box 217 Estes Park, Colorado, 237, drop in, uh, drop in any mailbox, we guarantee postage. Okay, so what makes this really cool is I have from the Stanley an actual key for 217, like a replica key, and this is 237. So in the books, the room is 217, in the movies, it's 237. And now I can put these together. That is so fun. Oh my god, I'm so happy with this. This might have to go on my keychain. So I'm assuming this is the chapter where they first discover room 217. Oh no, it's not. This is when um, they seem to be first meeting Dick Halloran and he is playing with all of the keys to the hotel rooms. Interesting. Okay. Or gift six is on page 200. Here we have it. This is pretty heavy. Oh, is it a mug? Oh, this is great. Okay, so it's a little red rum mug, and then we have, um, like, the Jack Nicholson and Shelley Duvall cast from Stanley Kubrick's The Shining. This is great. This is so creepy. I love that they don't have faces. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so let's see what happens in this scene. And this is just, again, more talking about um, Danny's connection with red rum and getting like the visions <laughs> uh, that Tony is sending him about what's gonna happen between him and his father. Very cool. So let's go to gift seven, which is on page 215. And this chapter is inside 217, so let's see. Oh, inside 217 is on page 215. That's close, but no cigar. Okay, so it looks like we get an infinity scarf. <laughs> Which, like, not mad about. It's cold, but I have no idea what an infinity scarf has to do with The Shining, apart from the fact that it's, like, you know, they're trapped in the winter. But yes, we do seem to have an infinity scarf. Um, don't know how I feel about it. At least it's black, so I will wear it. <laughs> Let's see what it says on this page. Okay, so we get a scarf because it's when, um, they had seen caribou tracks in the snow, once the caribou themselves, a group of five standing motionless, motionlessly below the security fence. Um, so the, it's um, Danny and Wendy and Jack, they are all out, like, kind of sightseeing <laughs> uh, in the snow. Which, by the way, is super cool. When you're um, in Estes Park, Colorado, when you're at the Stanley Hotel, there's all these signs about, like, watching out for caribou, and you see um, them everywhere. You see them absolutely elk. Well, I guess we see elk, right? Not caribou. I don't know. I don't remember. But there are giant, like, evolved versions of deer everywhere. It's really freaking cool and a little scary. Okay, so let's keep going. Okay, so on 326, we have gift eight. About a hundred page difference for that. What is in here? Oh, is this a candle? Oh, I think it's a candle, y'all. Okay, so it is, um, when the shining calls, you answer. Ooh, and it says the scent is orange gin, and it has a little Stephen King, like, doodle right here. Ooh, that smells really nice. Is he drinking gin on this page? Is that why that's the scent of this? Oh, no. Okay, so this is when Dick Halloran is getting um, a psychic calling from Danny for help, so that makes sense when The Shining calls you answer. Okay, so gift nine is on 350, which is right here. Okay, so we get a little mask. This is beautiful and entirely impractical. <laughs> um, so this has to be about the, the New Year's Eve ball. This is very cool. Okay, so let's read what that says. Yes, this seems to be a hallucination that Jack is having. Um, yeah, this is the beginning of all the weird hallucinations that Jack is having as he continues to fall into madness, which does include uh, like the big uh, New Year's Eve party, I believe. Very nice. Okay. And then we have one more gift. 
gift number 10 and then I will give my thoughts on this box a little run through of what we got okay so gift 10 is on the very very last page this feels like this might be another book <laughs> okay this is rad um so you get it's on the very very last page so obviously the book ends but it does continue in the sequel um, and you get a copy of the Sh uh, Doctor Sleep, which is the sequel to The Shining. I do own this book, so this will definitely be going into a giveaway. That's awesome. I love that they did this. I love that you do get two books, first and second, um, in this. So that's great. Let me just go through the gifts and give y'all my thoughts. So this makes me a little worried about, um, about this box in general, especially the white oleander box. I feel like there's a lot of things in this box that aren't necessarily um, really related to the book. They were kind of just thrown in to just be like quirky extra gifts. That being said, some of these gifts I think are great. I think it is absolutely amazing that they included Dr. Sleep. I think the mug is fantastic. Um, the candle is very practical. Um, I, I like that it's like kind of like an alcohol flavored scent because obviously like Jack Torres he's an alcoholic so that makes sense to me um the bath bomb also great especially because there's the bath scene in um uh in The Shining that is more prominent in the book than it is in the film so that's really cool I'm not quite sure if this was like this wasn't necessarily on that page at all I feel like the bath bomb could have been on the bath scene the bathroom scene page in 217 that would have made more sense I really do like that I understand the connection there I think this is fantastic. I will absolutely use this. It's very cute and quaint. Um, I absolutely adore the Overlook um, postcard. I think it's awesome. That will be framed and put in my studio somewhere. Obviously, the magnets, I think, are really, really great. Um, and the Rollerball perfume. Now, that being said, these are a lot of self-care items. So, obviously, the bath bomb, the candle, and the Rollerball are all self-care um, I do not mind that at all. I think that's great. I think it's a really fun way to tie it into the book. However, the two items I don't quite think make a lot of sense to me is this crown, which really is just going to be a decorative piece, and the infinity scarf. I feel like the infinity scarf is just kind of like thrown in um, at the end as like an afterthought almost. It is very practical and it is cool. I wish it was maybe like in the shining pattern. Um, you know, I feel like these two gifts could have been elevated to be more. Um, but out of out of everything, I mean, <laughs> eight out of the ten gifts I really, really vibe with. So I do think that this is a great box. I will say that this is a box that if you are not a fan of this novel, might not resonate with you. Which is kind of how I felt after the White Oleander box, because I've never read the book, so I don't quite understand why those items are there. Um, again, hoping to get to the book very, very, very soon. But all in all, I would give this like an 8 out of 10 uh, for this box. I love this edition. I think it's great. Uh, I think the bookmark that they included is super, super cute. Um, so definitely we'll be using that. Um, again, love the bath bomb, the candle, the roller ball. Like the, the two stars for me are definitely these two things, which are like definitely like the, like kind of like the smallest items in here. I do love the mug. I love that they included Dr. Sleep. I think that was such a nice addition to this. Um, do I think this book is worth $109? Or do I think this box is worth $109? Probably not. Um, I would maybe put it more at like the $80 mark, but that is just me. I am definitely interested to see what's on this Spotify playlist, but all in all, I'm very, very happy with this, and I'm excited to get the It box and to see if they have any other fandom boxes coming out soon that I would be interested in. I do not think that this is a box that I would necessarily subscribe to anytime soon. I feel like this is definitely a type of box where you have to already be a fan of the book um, to kind of um, enjoy the items included. Anyway, that is all that I have for you guys today. As always, I post every Monday and Thursday, sometimes on Saturdays. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe buttons down below, and I will catch you all in the next one. Mwah.